Last night was brutal, and I'm not even talking about the loss. In fact, I'm not even going to break the game down in this video. That's going to come out later on today. I just want to take some time to talk about Graham Mertz in this video. Obviously, you guys know he went down with what appears to be a season-ending injury on one of the toughest runs I've seen a quarterback make since I was in college, and another number 15 was running the ball at quarterback. Graham Mertz is such a competitor. That one play was pretty much a microcosm of who Graham Mertz has been for the Gators. He does what needs to be done to win games, to put his team in position to win games. There is no quit in Graham Mertz at all. His toughness is unmatched. I can't even, honestly, it probably is Tim Tebow. I can't think of a quarterback that has been as tough as Graham Mertz in the orange and blue in a very long time. He took a beating this entire season. It is no surprise to any of you when I say Florida's offensive line has been garbage this year. And part of that is that there's been injuries and it's just kind of had to be a different set of five starting all year, right? Each game looked a little bit different. I also think that some of the additions that we thought really were going to have massive impacts this season just haven't turned out the way that we were hoping that they would. But this offensive line has not been great for Graham Mertz. And he has stood back there and taken a beating all season long. I wish he didn't have to have taken those hits, but he did, and he got up every single time and kept fighting. It is hard to describe how tough Graham Mertz is. Even last night, prior to going out, the amount of hits that he took, there was a there was a shot to his knee that would have had some people carried off the field. He just got right back up and continued to do his job. For me, when I see players willing to leave it all out on the field and just give their all physically, mentally, emotionally to the University of Florida, it does something for me. You know, Florida football is part of who my family is, right? My husband played for the Gators. My brother played for the Gators. My dad played for the Gators. My grandfather played for the Gators. Multiple of the people in our wedding played for the Gators. Graham Mertz battled for that legacy, right? The legacy of all the former players that came before him. He takes the responsibility of the logo on the front of the jersey so seriously. And I think that's something that all of our former players tip their hat to. I just, he's been the rock for this team. He wants to win. He has that dog in him. And I think part of that comes from the chip that's probably on his shoulder from the fact that nobody thought he was a good take out of the portal. Everybody thought Billy Napier got just what was left because he missed on the other quarterbacks that were more highly rated in the portal. And at the time, Napier tried to say, I've done my due diligence. I've done my homework. Graham Mertz is the best option in the portal. He started the most games. He has the attributes that I'm looking for. And many of us thought that was coach speak, right? You have to say something positive about the guy you pluck out of the portal because you're the one that chose to pick him, even if he was the last guy picked for dodgeball, so to speak. But Napier ended up being right. His eval was spot on. Graham Mertz has so overachieved based on the information we had about him coming into this season, based on the national media opinion of how he was going to do on the University of Florida, at the University of Florida, and honestly, based on what fans of other teams thought he was going to do too. There was a point in time this summer where all of our rivals teased us about who we were taking out of the portal. Don't think Graham Mertz didn't see all of that stuff. Don't think he didn't wear that chip on his shoulder. In reality, it's not that he was the last man there for Billy to pick. It's that it's the first man there that Billy wanted because he knew the talent that Graham Mertz had and the heart and the fight that he was going to bring to this team. He's been crushing it 
this season. His stats have been really, really good. He's made plays when he's had to. And most importantly, he's minimized mistakes. Shattered a record of complete passes without an interception at the University of Florida this season. He's put up top 10 quarterback stats across college football this season with the hodgepodge offensive line and a defense that continuously puts him in a bad spot. Honestly, he's been the most valuable member, not only of this team, but I think you can argue he's one of the most valuable men in college football in terms of impact on his team. I'm really sad to see his season end like this. But like I said earlier, I do think that play essentially is a microcosm of who Graham Mertz is and what his toughness looks like. You watch him put the team on his back, a guy certainly not known for his speed runs through two defenders who, by the way, both were laying on the ground afterwards. Both had to come off the field because they were both hurt by this quarterback. Gets the first down, makes the play. This is Graham Mertz in a nutshell. That play is who he is and what he brings to this team. And then after that injury, he goes to the locker room, he gets his x-rays, he comes back out. And he's supporting his team. He's not crying. He's not worried about himself. He's not moping, sitting on the bench. All of those things would have been explainable reactions, acceptable reactions to what we think is probably a season-ending injury. But that's not what we saw from Graham Mertz. We saw Graham Mertz standing up there on the sidelines, rooting on Mac Brown, cheering on his teammates. He gave Max Brown confidence. He coached him from the sidelines. He cheered on his friend. He cheered on the rest of his teammates. That is who Graham Mertz is. He's a leader. Not only does he have guts and grit and work ethic and fight, but he is a leader of all of the other guys on this team. His intangibles are what didn't show up on those evals. Those are what those other coaches didn't see. And Billy Napier did see the type of man that Graham Mertz is, the type of leader that Graham Mertz was capable of being, his refusal to quit. All of those intangibles are what makes Graham Mertz such a good football player. Even Napier, who I get frustrated with because he doesn't show enough emotions at times, was a little emotional in the postgame press conference. And I can understand why. My heart goes out to Graham Mertz. I appreciate all that he has done for Gator Nation and the way that he tuned out the noise. He fought really hard and he kicked ass this season. 